Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently in position to launch the beam mission to the ISS which is of course our second full Falcon 9 launch to the ISS like our, our full paid launch not a demonstration mission so we're ready to launch this thing let's put it out on the pad and we are of course going to be well we're going to mech jeb this launch as we did last time that worked quite well actually all things considered it worked better than I expected it to. Now, the main problem, of course, was that land landing, and that will require practice. We need to bring the horizontal speed down to virtually zero. And we need to do that fairly high up. So that's going to require maybe a little bit of extra fuel. We might want to leave about 15 seconds of fuel in the tank. We are skipping circularization. We're not auto-staging. That all seems fine. We'll launch into plane of target. And that means that we'll be launching in about two hours. So let's warp on forward here. And we'll get to our launch position. Excellent. So it looks like it's going to be a night launch. That is absolutely fine. And as before, or as I said before, I think that we definitely want to leave somewhere around somewhere around 12 to 15 seconds of fuel. We need to bring down that horizontal speed, and that's the major concern right now. I'm also noting a little bit of a concern here with wiggling. There's some weak joints here somewhere. We can maybe try to identify those as we have more flights. But there's definitely a little bit of weak joint there, but I think we're broadly okay on that. I think our gimbling is weak enough that it doesn't really matter all that much. So that looks good. We've got about 75 seconds of burn time left here. Now, a small change that needs to be made. Well, with MechJeb, it's awkward, right? Because we can't throttle down. We can't turn off our throttle. MechJeb will just turn it right back on. So if we detach this, this will continue to burn. And we'll have to switch over and throttle it down which is definitely awkward. No doubt about that. Hmm. I wonder if there's an option in MechJeb to solve that. There might be. If there is, I'm not aware of it. But if we were to attempt, I'm trying to turn off the throttle right now. MechJeb just doesn't allow it. So that's going to be interesting. I think that means that we'll need to do our detachment at maybe like 17-ish seconds. Just so we have enough time to detach, pop over, and turn off the engines. And have about 15 seconds of burn left overall. I'm keeping an eye on our apoapsis. It's not all that high. But it should be good enough. Okay. Staging, switching, engine off. Okay. Now we want to bring this around to retrograde. I'm not going to deploy the air brakes until we're on our way down, of course. We're going to hop back over here, and we're keeping an eye on this situation. How are we doing on our inclination? Inclination is at about 3.6 degrees. Okay, it is coming down, so I think for the moment that's reasonably fine. This guy, of course, needs to get into not really orbit, but into an orbit adjacent position. And then, if I recall correctly, what, what's the apoapsis on this guy? It's not all that high. Okay. Let's take this up, I think. Instead of targeting 200 kilometers in the future, we might want to target 300. We're now in space, and our solar panels deploy. I think targeting 300 kilometers is maybe the right call here. I'm going to swap it right now. But uh, we're just going to manually burn. That Swapping it does disable the ascent guidance, and that's fine. We don't need the ascent guidance at this point. So we're just going to continue to be on kill rot for right now, and I want to check in to see how we're doing on that ascending-descending node. We can probably tweak this a little bit other direction. Yeah, just a small corrective steer here. But we're not going to get all that much efficiency out of it right now but somewhere around here. Okay, let's take this to horizontal velocity up now.
Hmm. Taking it back up over here, I guess. Sure. Yeah, that'll do. So we're 1.3 degrees off. That's fine. We see our apoapsis height is currently at 125. I'm just going to push that up to 300. We need to get a lot of horizontal speed here. And then we need to hop over before we do our circularization burn and see about getting our... Yeah, we're basically at apoapsis with our lander right now. We're launching this direction, so I think it's going to be a water landing. That'll be convenient for us. No doubt about that. But we're at 140 for the apoapsis, and that's going to start increasing much more rapidly. So that looks good. 150. So we're halfway there, in theory. 160. 170. And it just gets exponentially faster. 180. 190. 200. 210. 220. 230. 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, and 300. Our periapsisite is nearly in orbit, but it's not quite there. But we need to swap back over to the, to the booster at this time. We left a little bit of extra fuel in there, only a couple of seconds. And we need to make sure that we are in the retrograde direction here. So hop over to retrograde, and we're going to turn on our air brakes. There we go. So we're heading over, and we're heading pretty downward at this moment, but we need to get in position. Aerodynamics will, of course, help us hold this retrograde direction. But let's see how this goes. We are now in atmosphere. And we are, of course, accelerating at this time. How long do we have a burn time? 14 seconds. Okay, that's like 1.2 kilometers per second. That's not bad. That number will change, but for now, it's okay. So when we're coming into the water like this, we don't need to be too concerned about our horizontal speed. That's for sure. But we're just going to have to be pretty careful with this burn. So for the time being, we're just letting arrow braking do its thing, right? We're accelerating right now, although that will change. And we do have these steering this time for sure. And we'll just see if we're any better at recovering this. Uh, we see ourselves drifting off quite a lot from the from the retrograde. Actually, no, we were in orbital mode. We're not drifting that far from surface retrograde. Okay, looks good. So we're going to start decelerating pretty soon. We're about 30 kilometers up. There we go. Now we're starting to decelerate. Looks good. 16 kilometers up. 12 kilometers up. Still decelerating. 8 kilometers up. We're decelerating quickly now. 5 kilometers up. 4. 3. 2. One kilometer up, commencing a braking burn. Okay, we're having a real attitude problem here right now. Noted. Okay, so that is our big problem right now, is we're not able to turn it effectively once we start that burn. That is absolutely noted and is something that we will handle. So... We'll need to do something about that. I was hoping that the aero brakes would be able to handle that on their own or the engine gimbling. That was not the case. We basically held the attitude right where we were and we didn't follow the retrograde node there. So we want to resume that flight. So we failed that recovery, but that's okay. Failing these recoveries is a secondary mission. We'll get better at that and we'll need to make some modifications likely to that first stage. So... The question then becomes, how exactly do we want to tackle that? So the issue there is one of attitude control, right? No doubt about that. The Falcon 9 primary mission, though, is still on its suborbital trajectory, and we're going to need to get that finished up. So that's mission number one. Let's get out, out over here, and this is, of course, the mission that matters. The recovery mission is just a bonus. So that's great. 
At this point, once we get to the apoapsis, I want to circularize this, and this is pretty close to the descending node, so we might want to see about an inclination change as well, as long as we're here. So 1.3 degrees, 0.2 degrees is about the best we can get with that timing. That looks pretty good, honestly. No, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that'll do. 176 meters per second, and we'll put us into a very nice orbit for interception. 0.2 degrees off is not bad. We can definitely work with that. And we're most of the way there, for sure. As far as that recovery goes, I think we're going to have to probably revisit the attitude control systems on that first stage. It's that terminal guidance, right? That's the main problem. So what we did see there was as we decelerated, our momentum changed pretty significantly in the horizontal direction, and we should warp out over here. But our momentum changed pretty significantly in the horizontal direction, and our attitude did not. So the attitude completely failed to keep up with the retrograde node. That's the core issue there, and what we'll need to solve. And that was the core issue with the failed recovery of the last one as well. It's interesting that it's happening with the MechJeb launches and not with the manual launch that I did or the multiple manual launches. I think that's because the MechJeb launches come in with significantly more horizontal speed. I deliberately waited on the on the gravity turn to help reduce that. So we could just manually launch it and not MechJeb launch it at all. That is an option. The other option is we can have some sort of increased attitude control system. That would probably require some testing and figuring out what exactly that ends up looking like. Regardless, we are about to hit this burn timing, and we've got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. This is not, of course, going to bring us to the station. This is circularizing our orbit and getting a little bit of an inclination change. It's not a perfect inclination, but it's way closer. Okay, just getting that last little bit of the burn. That'll do. Okay, so now we can look at an interception. So what would that end up looking like if we were to burn, say, here? Complete opposite sides of the orbit. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for sure. A couple of orbits. That looks decent. Yeah, about right there. 3.4 kilometers separation, 86.6 meters per second relative speed. That is not bad. Let's align to that node. Yeah, I was really hoping that the air brakes would be enough to, to get that terminal guidance in there, but sadly it just isn't. Okay, let's warp on forward here. I'll have to give some thought to that. Do we want to just add in, like, a reaction wheel? Or monoprop? Monoprop may or may not be enough. I don't know. Reaction wheels are overpowered in this game. There's no doubt about that. We're going to warp forward a little bit further here. 40 seconds, 30, 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. But it's absolutely an attitude control issue. It's not a thrust issue. We've got plenty of fuel for it. It's all good on that front. Oh, this uh, engine plate is up in here. Okay, yeah, that engine plate will be removed. That's fine. So we're going to warp to about here, and we're going to put this into target mode. There we go, target mode. We're pretty close together in terms of relative speed. So I think for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to do a corrective burn in the prograde direction. So we'll increase our relative speed for this first corrective burn. And let's see here. We pull the node here. So we overshot this. We need to pull this node over this way and get our corrective burn somewhere around here. Actually, 0.4 kilometers is pretty good. We can dial that in just a smidge. 0.5? Okay. That's good enough. So now we can warp into about here. And we're going to hop over to relative velocity minus. Where are we relative to the station? Okay, we're about 8 kilometers out. Sounds good. 
We can do another quick, uh, another quick correction out over this way. So that would be somewhere around here. We are going to be pushing. No, wait a second. We're pushing the retrograde node, not the target node. We need to be on this side. So we need to be out over here and get ourselves a quick correction somewhere around here or so. Maybe a little bit down this way, but I don't think that's strictly necessary. How's that looking? 0, 0.0, we are potentially on a collision route. Okay. 95.9 meters per second. And we'll evaluate what that route ends up looking like a little later on and determine how we want to jettison our second stage. Because, of course, we don't want to contain the second stage when we are up near the station. So that'll be fine. We'll jettison that once we arrive. Station will be loading in right about now. So fare thee well, frame rate. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not great. <laughs> no doubt about that. Okay, so we're two kilometers out right now. I'm just going to wait until we're about one kilometer out. We probably... I don't think we're on a collision course. It's going to be close, though. We might be on a little bit of a collision course. We could use RCS to push ourselves this direction just a smidge. Okay, RCS off. And I'm going to begin our braking burn now. Frame rate has improved a little bit, so that's good. 70 meters per second. 60. 50. We're just bringing this down to about 5. 20. 10. And... Okay, I guess we're at 3. Well, that's going to take a while, but let's just push this out this direction a wee bit. Uh, kill rot, please. There we go. So we're just pushing ourselves slightly away from the station here. RCS is now off. And let's warp in a little bit and see what our angling is. Okay, yeah, this is fine angling. So at this point, I want to rotate ourselves to be out this way. Because we're going to be jettisoning this stage, and I just want to jettison it away from the station. We do have decent velocity away from the station. But I want to position this somewhere out over here. Okay, so we will ditch that. It didn't go. We'll ditch that. There we go. And now, of course, we'll bring ourselves back down to relative velocity minus. And we'll need to warp into the station here. It's going to be a while at 3.4 meters per second, but that's okay. Let's just bring this guy right on in. We're definitely coming in a little bit more exact on the station than I would have liked, but I'm hoping that that momentum out this direction will carry that guy reasonably well. So this is the direction that we're going in. Hopefully this doesn't impact. That would be problematic, but it is drifting that direction due to the direction that we jettisoned it. Okay, so we want to dock this up somewhere. For right now, we can set this guy as our docking port. We can control from here, and we can open this shield. Let's go ahead and point at target. And of course, we're going to need to go over this way. So we can certainly get some momentum going that direction. So RCS is going to be turning on as soon as we get into position here. And I want to adjust our momentum to be... Yeah. About here, but I want to go further in this direction. So that looks good. I think we're going to need a little bit of vertical direction as well. So we can certainly do that. That's going to be this way. Ish. This way, ish. Looks good. Let's rotate ourselves a little bit here because we're, we're having some awkward directionality. But let's just bring this guy right on around to about here or so. Now, what directionality do we have going on? This feels better. Okay. So we're going to need to fix our momentum in one of these two directions, but currently I'm relatively content with this directionality. 
I think our right direction is going to need to be fixed first. That's the theory, anyway. So we're going to need to, yeah, head that direction. That looks good. Okay. We are almost in position here. Let's bring this down this way. I think we might be slightly overshooting this. It took a little longer to bring that right momentum to a halt than I thought. We also need to bring this vertical momentum down, so we're just bringing this into a direct momentum towards our target. We're going to need to dial that in, of course, and we're going to need to break pretty soon. We're moving at 2.6 meters per second, which is relatively quick, and let's go ahead and break here. Yeah, we're a little bit off on our angling for sure, but we're a lot closer than we were. So I'm just going to bring this down to our normal half a meter per second so that we can maneuver a little bit quickly, more quickly, which will be fine. Okay, so we're going to need to head, I believe, in the down vector a little bit. And there we can see, I think that'll be clear. I'm pretty sure that'll be clear. So we're heading in this down vector just a smidge, and I want to head this direction just a smidge as well. Also changing our rotation just a bit. So our horizontal vector here, or I guess I should say our sideways vector, is about right. So let's bring this back for now. I think we need a little bit more in terms of verticality. So I'm just going to put us about here, and we'll just slowly drift into place. And then we'll be very close. This is a small docking port, isn't it? Did we dock here previously, or did we dock here? <laughs> you know, I'm not actually sure. Uh, I'm not sure what size this is. I think that's a Clampatron, not a Clampatron Jr. That is what it says, right? Pretty sure about that one. Okay, let's no longer have this verticality. We should be pretty close here. Okay, just tweaking that momentum a little bit. That looks good. Let's warp in a little ways and get just slightly closer. And we'll make some adjustments here. Okay, how are we looking on these lineups? Actually, it looks pretty good, all things considered. We're maybe a little bit too high. So we'll just toss in a tiny bit of momentum down below. But honestly, it's not that much. I think that might be all we needed. This is at a slight angle here, so I think we should be relatively fine on this vector. It's probably close enough. So that all looks good. Yeah. No major issue here, I think. If we do have a little bit of a misalign, it won't be too bad to correct. We can definitely do that pretty easily. Excellent. So in we come, and we'll be installing our beam module fairly soon. But that's going to be a next episode sort of thing. Let's get this docked up, and next episode, we are going to be installing the beam module. And then we'll bring this back, and I hope that we will end up having enough time, I think, a little bit this way. Beautiful. I hope that next episode we'll have enough time to do some work on the Falcon 9 first stage attitude control issue. That's definitely something we're going to need to work on. But next episode, we'll install our beam module. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.